All right, let's talk about an application that is going to change how you focus. Check out Disconnect. It is the ultimate to lock yourself out of your phone application. I mean, how many times have you been like, okay, I'm going to steady, but you end up scrolling through Instagram or TikTok instead? Happens all the time, right? Well, this application fixes that. You just set a timer for how long you want to stay focused. Let's say you pick one hour. Now here's the genius part. Once you hit the disconnect button, you are locked out completely. You can't access any application or even go to your home screen. No sneaky peeking at your text, nothing. The app uses device admin privileges, which basically means no shortcuts. You are logged out for real. And it's just you and your tasks. And no worries about privacy. It doesn't have internet access, so it is not tracking or sharing any data. Now for all my people who find themselves glued to their phones for hours, this next app is called Mindful and it's your new best friend for controlling screen time. And here's the deal with this application. It lets you set daily limits for specific apps, so if you know you are spending way too much time on let's say YouTube or Instagram, you can set time limits for distraction apps. And once you hit that mark, the app locks you out. No more mindless scrolling. You can let the app block reels and shorts. It keeps you from falling into that social media black hole. And if you need something even more intense, there is an invincible mode. This mode is no joke. Once it's on, you can't change any settings or timers. You just have to deal with it and stick to your limits. Mindful even helps with bedtime. It has a bedtime mode that pauses all distracting apps and turns on do not disturb. So you can actually get some sleep instead of watching just one more video. Plus, it's got privacy covered. Everything runs offline. So no data tracking, no ads, just you getting better control of your phone use. Now let's switch gears and talk about security. If you're like me, you probably have a hundred online accounts and reusing passwords is just asking for trouble. Enter Wasword. This application is super simple. All it does is generate really strong passwords. And it's not a password manager, no storage, nothing fancy. You just choose how long you want the password to be, what kind of characters you want in it, and it spits out a secure password. Once you've got a password you like, you just copy it and paste it wherever you need it. That's it. It doesn't store anything or share any data because it doesn't even have internet access. Everything is offline so your security is top-notch. Easy, right? Now this next app is a game changer for anyone who is tired of getting spammed after signing up for staff online. It is called Simple Login and it lets you create email aliases and here is how it works. Let's say you want to sign up for a newsletter but you don't trust giving out your real email. With Simple Login, you can create an alias which is like a temporary email address. Anything sent to that alias gets forwarded to your real inbox. But here is the kicker. If that alias starts getting spammy, you can just block it or delete it. It's like having a firewall for your real email. You can manage everything, create new aliases, delete them, even set up two-factor authentication for extra security. And if you're a bit more tech-savvy, you can host your own simple login instance, another transparent and efficient open-source application. Finally, for those little everyday annoyances, there is Mute Reminder. Ask yourself how many times you have muted your phone's ringtone but totally forgotten to mute the media volume. You are in a meeting or at a quiet space and then boom, loud audio plays from a video or a notification. Super awkward, right? Well, Mute Reminder fixes that. If your ringtone is muted but your media volume is still on, it gives you a little nudge like, hey, you might want to mute your media too. Simple but it saves you from these awkward moments. Let's talk about super productivity. This application is a time tracking and to-do list manager designed specifically for professionals like developers and designers and perfect for Android users in general. This application allows you to track your work, create tasks and even plan your day all in one application. It is a game changer for anyone working on a project-based environment. What's great about super productivity is its inbuilt Promodoro timer and anti-procrastination tools. These features help you stay focused, reminding you to take breaks and keeping you on track. And if you've ever struggled with time management or find yourself procrastinating, this application can make a huge difference. Plus, no data collection, no registration. You don't have to worry about your task being synced to the cloud unless you want them to be. This is ideal for privacy conscious users who need more from their to-do list applications without having to deal with subscriptions or apps. The next four apps can be great replacements for some default apps on your phone. Now for those of you who deal with PDFs a lot, let me introduce MJ PDF. It is a lightweight, fast PDF reader that offers dark mode for both the app and the PDFs you open. 
If you are still using Google Drive or Adobe Reader, you might want to switch to this one. It has a minimalist design that is super easy to navigate and one of the best things of this application is that it remembers where you left off. And when in full screen, you get some useful tools like Rotate, Brightness, Auto Scroll which is an awesome feature, Orientation Switches, Screenshots and more. And if you are like me and tend to read longer documents or ebooks, MJPDF's text mode is a standout feature. It lets you read PDFs like you would an ebook, making it more pleasant on the eyes. And because it is open source, you get all this without worrying about ads, data collection, or any unnecessary permissions. For managing files on your phone, File Explorer is a fantastic choice. It is lightweight, it supports multiple tabs, and even has a built-in code editor. Most default file management applications are pretty basic and sometimes lack advanced features. This file manager application gives you more power to manage, search, and organize your files. Plus, it looks great with Material U dynamic colors. You can bookmark files and folders to the sidebar, which is great for easy access to your most used files. It even offers deep search, allowing you to find files by their content and not just by their name. So if you're a heavy file user or work with quotes on your device, this application can easily replace the stock file manager on your phone, giving you more flexibility and power over your files. You know, most popular scanner applications out there are not free and if they are, they contain lots of ads and in-app purchases. If you wish to have a change, check out this free and open source scanner application called OSS Document Scanner. This app offers all the essential features but without any of the privacy concerns. It lets you scan documents using your camera or you can import images and let the app auto-detect and crop your document. It even comes with OCR support, meaning it can extract text from images, perfect for digitizing notes and important papers. The scan enhancement features are amazing. The app keeps all your scanned documents within it, so you can revisit it whenever. And for unauthorized access to your application, you can enable biometric security. Compared to default scanner applications that often send data to the cloud, this gives you full control over where your documents go. Plus, it is open source so you know exactly what the application is doing. And so if you are serious about privacy and want a feature-packed, simple-to-use document scanner, this application is for you. Next, we have Fossify Messages, which is an ad-free SMS and MMS messaging application. If you are looking for something to replace your stock messaging application, or the Google Messages app on most phones, this is a solid option. It supports scheduled messaging, photos, images, and even quick backups for your SMS. Google's Messages application does not support exporting and importing of data. This one allows it. The app is lightweight, so it won't slow down your phone, and you have full control over how it behaves. Fossify Messages also offers advanced message filtering and blocking options, so you can avoid unwanted messages from spammers or even block messages with specific keywords. It is privacy-focused and unlike some default applications that require unnecessary permissions, this one only asks for what it needs to function. So if you care about controlling your messaging experience without bloatware or ads, Fossify Messages is a must-have. Moving on, we have Schaefer, a sleek note-taking application that is designed to be your personal assistant for organizing information. If you've used applications like Google Keep or Evernote, you'll feel right at home with Skipper. But here is the thing, unlike those applications, Skipper is fully open source and it puts a lot of focus on user privacy. It allows you to create notes, tag them, and set reminders with flexible repeat modes. So whether you need daily, weekly, or even yearly reminders, Skipper has got you covered. It even offers statistics on your note usage, which is a fun way to see how often you rely on it. One feature that stands out is the event calendar. It gives you a quick overview of all your upcoming tasks, making it easier to manage your time. And this application is in active development and you can expect more features to roll out over time. It is ideal for anyone who wants the versatile, private, and feature-packed note-taking experience. Then we have Neo Launcher, which is a highly customizable launcher based on AOSP designed for power users. Now, if you are someone who likes to tweak and fine-tune every aspect of your phone's interface, this is going to be perfect for you. It supports custom gestures and several customization. It also has a unique feature called the Dash, which is a hidden menu at the bottom of the screen, which can be accessed by double tapping on the home screen. And this Dash contains some necessary tools which makes navigating around your phone even quicker. The interface of the settings and the overall look of the launcher is similar to Launcher Launcher, and its open source status means no ads and data tracking, just the customizations of your home screen. So there you have it, some of the best open source applications you can try right now, some being great replacements to some common applications which lack privacy. Give them a try and see how they can transform your Android experience. 
If you enjoyed the video, kindly consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like on it, and as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.